going to turn this over to Caroline Walsh so we can get started. Thanks, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Thanks for um, coming by for a couple minutes this afternoon to um, review the Global Post solution. Um, we at Big Technologies have had an integration to Indicia Pro or Professional for over a year now and had a very successful launch with the integration. Um, so. I know we have some customers on the line that may be using ShiftGear with other um, integrations. Um, in this particular case, we're going to be um, talking specifically about Indicia and the uh, post office solution, and um, even more specifically regarding international shipping. Um, if anybody may have questions even outside of that as it relates to um, adding the post office to your carrier mix, um, there will be some contact information on the last slide. You can always reach out to us and we'll give you more information on the Indicia Professional um, integration that Shipgear now offers. Okay, thanks, and I'm going to pass it off to Shay. Great. Well, thank you, guys, and excited to be here to talk about this new product we have called Global Post. So let's get started. So today we're going to talk about um, Global Post, how it works, get into some of the differences between this and the USPS products, how to get started and you know, see if you have any questions at the end. Um, but why Global Post? So Global Post is a product that serves all markets worldwide. It's um, positioned to be a, a economy-based product that's about 20% off what you're paying today if you're paying commercial base rates with USPS. Um, we even have a product called Smart Saver we'll talk about a little bit. That's a consolidation product where you can get even deeper discounts than that 20%. Uh, we also offer uh, postage and package coverage against loss up to $100. And, and what that is, it's $100 for value plus the postage, so actually you can go above $100. But that is included with the product itself. Uh, the product is 100% electronic customs clearance and no printing of customs forms. But all the shipments can still be tracked on USPS.com and all the marketplaces that acknowledge USPS as a carrier. So. As we walk through this presentation today, one thing to take away from this, this is a postal product. It's going to be picked up by the Postal Service. It will be delivered by the Postal Service. But in between, we've been able to leverage um, our aggregate volume to do a consolidation and work share savings that bring these type of savings and features like the free coverage. And we'll kind of walk through it in more detail, but it's one thing I definitely want to make sure people are aware of. So the first question is, is this product a good fit for you? Um, this product will be really good for shippers that are doing less than 25 international shipments per day. If you're a very large international shipper, you're probably going to find uh, working with the consolidators direct would be in your best interest. But if you're doing less than 25 per day, it will really give you the kind of savings you need to ship at an economy basis. If you're someone that wants to continue to work with the USPS for our customs clearance, we know with the USPS there could be some differences between um, the clearance process is the assessment of duties and taxes and other nuances that are different than, say, FedEx and UPS. So even though this is a Global Post brand, it still follows through the clearance process of a postal network. If you're selling things that are fairly low in weight, under 4.4 pounds or under $400 in value, again, this will be a sweet spot, sweet spot for this product for your company. And the last one is if you desire customer service, and insurance on economy shipping. Uh, when you work with USPS today, that is one of the issues that we find sometimes is not only could you not insure a product on the economy level, but you can't call in and do what's a uh, custom uh, uh, inquiry on your package, find out if it was lost, get any type of service. So all that is baked in with this product and we handle the customer service. So let's talk a little bit about how it works. So if you're um, shipping and using uh, stamps.com or Indicia through uh, a partner like V Technologies, uh, and you have access to us, you're going to go through the software and you're going to do uh, in step number two rate shopping. So we still show the USPS services. You could still look at first class international, priority international, but you'll see that this product brings back a whole new set of rates. And depending on what you're shipping, you might find that this product has savings of up to 20% or a little bit less, but you'll be able to rate shop this product against the other kind of core USPS services. Once you complete that step and you decide that you want to use Global Post, then you'll go into step number three, which is into your customs info and print a label. So two things to think about. Number one, 
is none of the data requirements have changed. If you ship with USPS today, it's all the same requirements for entering your customer's information. The main difference would be in the label that you print out. So today when you print a label, you print an international customs form with postage and all the addressing information. With our solution, you actually just print a domestic label, and that domestic label is going to be one that has an address on there to our domestic hub. Okay, so once you print the label, then the postage is deducted from your account, just like we do today for any USPS shipment. You can schedule a pickup with USPS and have that domestic shipment shipped to one of our three fulfillment centers. When it gets to our fulfillment center in step number six, there they're going to scan the package, and that triggers all the data we collected from you electronically, and then they actually handle all the printing of the customs forms for you. They apply that to the package, they hand it back to USPS in step seven, and then it gets delivered uh, via the whole postal network worldwide. So really the main difference in kind of what we're doing today is going to be within steps three and step six, and that involves the work share agreement, and that's how we get to the uh, deeper savings. But for the most part, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be picked up and delivered within the postal network. And this is a good example in Adisha Professional of how this looks today. On the left-hand side, you'll see Global Post Priority as a mail class. If you were to open that up, you would also see some of the USPS services, and you'll see that the Global Post coverage will cover up to $100 of value for free. Okay. Once you select your service, then you go to this next step, which is the customs page. Again, nothing has changed, and then you print a label, which is a domestic label, and that's the new card. Okay. In terms of pricing, and this is based on a comparison of USPS commercial-based pricing, um, the discounts can be upwards of 20% for a single piece and upwards of 50% for our Smart Saver product. Now, this will change a little bit depending on are you shipping a flat or a package, which country you're shipping to, the weight. Um, there's a lot of different variables involved that can flex that discount up to 20% or, say, down to 5%. But you'll get to see that on the fly when you go and select your service in, for a certain country and you see the different rates come back you can toggle with that and get an idea for where you're going to see the biggest cost savings. In terms of payments and, and other things that happen on the back end, whether it be reprints or refunds or short payments, we've aligned this product completely 100% with how things work today with the U.S. Postal Service. So any of these functions that you need to do, it'll be the same process you have today, the same rules that you have today. Really nothing changes from a, a postage payment process in terms of reprints, refunds, and short payments. Some of the differences. So let's look at USPS FCPIS compared to Global Post Economy, USPS Priority Mail International versus Global Post Priority. So when we look at the economy product on the left-hand side, uh, the speed will be about the same. The main difference will be in the discounting, getting up to 20% off commercial base. The next difference would be in the consolidation that with this product you can do a consolidation to our hub and we'll show you in a second the way that looks. The customs information is very similar. It's a DDU or a duties delivered unpaid process where the buyer pays the taxes at the door. It's for goods that are valued under $400. In terms of the packaging, we'll have a flats option and a parcel option. With USPS they have letters, flats, and parcels. A slight difference on the weight is our product will go up to 4.4 pounds for packages where you're going to cap out at four pounds uh, with USPS. On the tracking, USPS does offer door-to-door -door tracking for 27 countries. And our product, this economy-based product, it'll be tracking domestically and will also give you the tracking when it gets received in the country, but it won't be door-to-door -door tracking. But the good part of that is, regardless if you have tracking or not to the door, is we will cover your package. So if there's any issues in your package being damaged or lost, we would pick that up up to $100 in value plus the cost of postage. So if the goods were valued at, say, $70 and the postage was $35, then the total coverage would be $105. You can still qualify for USPS pickup. And in terms of customer service, today you really don't have an option to call in and get service on FCPIS with Global Post Economy Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can call and inquire about your package, the status of your package, and actually talk to one of our representatives. 
Now with USPS Priority Mail versus Global Post Priority, um, again, it's about the same speed at six to 10 days. The price will be 20% off commercial base or commercial plus pricing. With our product, you get the consolidation, which is nice. Now the customs information, this changes a little bit. Now with the USPS PMI, it's gonna go up to 66 pounds in total. With our product, it's still gonna be capped at 4.4 pounds. So if you go in and you're shipping something, let's say to Canada, and it has a weight of seven pounds, in that point, you would not see the Global Post products, you'd only see USPS PMI. Okay, but if it is under 4.4 pounds, you will see this option and be able to do some price shopping. Now for this product, we limit it to 27 countries because we want the priority product to be fully tracked. So if you pick one of our 27 countries, and I'll show you the list in a second, um, you'll get full tracking to that country door to door, along with the great rates. Insurance, a little different. So with USPS, you can get up to $200 of insurance free, but that does not include the cost of postage. With ours, you get $100 included plus the cost of postage. Now, you do get customer service with PMI, but the claims and query process should be a little bit easier with our direct in-house product where we're managing the customer service. So on our end, really we look at the blue blocks as the, the big areas to focus on, pricing, deeper discounts and consolidation, free coverage, and customer service on top of a product that's already very popular today with USPS. Now in terms of customs forms, I mentioned earlier that you'll be printing a domestic label. On the left, you'll see what happens today with, if you're doing party mail international. Party mail international, depending on the country you're shipping to, you may print up to three different copies of a customs form and have to enclose that in an envelope. And that could be an issue at times operationally. But with our product, we will only require you to print a domestic label. We will handle all the necessary forms on our end. So really, there's no customs forms that will ever be attached on your end to one of our shipments. Now, this is an example of how the labeling works from kind of door to door. So on the left-hand side is an example if you use the flat. And if you look at the barcode, that is the IMB, the smaller barcode. That's if you're using a flat, and we'll use that to scan your package. If you're doing a parcel shipment, you'll use the label in the middle, and that's the barcode we're going to scan, which is IMPB. Once that package comes into us, we'll over-label, but we're going to sync together the different domestic tracking numbers so it's one organized shipment. And that organized shipment and that tracking data can be tracked across multiple sites. A lot of people will still want to track on USPS.com, may want to track in the marketplaces with USPS as a carrier. We can definitely track on Adisha directly or through globalpost.com, which is our branded product name. Now, when you look at the tracking data I mentioned earlier, it's still going to be organized as one shipment, even though it's taking into effect multiple tracking numbers. So you can use any of these tracking numbers we're going to provide, whether it's the domestic tracking number or the international tracking number. But when you get to the main tracking pages, whether it be USPS.com or an eBay, it'll look like one organized tracking file. It won't be something where you have to go down to multiple sites to get the tracking events. So in this situation on the right-hand side, you see something was originating in Redondo Beach and getting delivered in Switzerland and with one organized tracking flow. Now I mentioned the 27 countries earlier and here's a list of the 27 countries for the priority product that we provide end-to-end -end tracking for. Now it might only be 27 countries but in reality this is going to represent 90% plus of all, all e-commerce goes today. So it is the most popular countries for shipping. It will be robust enough to support your needs and we're pretty excited about having this as a feature within the priority product. In terms of coverage and support, uh, the claims process will be pretty straightforward. There'll be a form to download and have you, your buyer sign and send it back to us. We'll be able to expedite the claims process pretty quickly. We feel very confident that this process will be streamlined compared to anything that you're doing today, especially on the postal end. And we're hoping by doing so, be a little bit more faith and confidence in the postal products, knowing that if there is an issue, not only will it be covered, but it'll be covered pretty quickly on our side. Some of the common inquiries that we'll take in are refunds, filing a claim, doing an inquiry of where your package is, understanding the terms of service and pricing and features, or maybe just an adjustment if there is an issue with the weight or size of the package, which we can do on the fly from one of our hubs. So again, this is all built in. A lot of these things may not be accessible today, 
if you're using USPS Direct, but these are things you'll be able to do through our customer service department. So I mentioned earlier a product called Smart Saver. And how this works, it's the same concept I mentioned earlier in terms of getting packages to our hub, but what we do is we actually turn off the domestic postage. So if you're around the country and you have a spike in business, let's say you're a seasonal shipper, and one day, or even though you ship maybe three or four packages a day, one day you have, let's say, 50 packages, and you want to get all those 50 packages out, you can opt to turn off the domestic postage for USPS and use your own means to ship in bulk directly to a hub. Even better if you're local. So if you're in the LA area, and we'll show you the map earlier where some of our hubs are located, you could even drive it and drop it off. But you could see different cost savings by shipping in bulk with the Smart Saver option. And really what it allows you to do, it allows you to take advantage of consolidated discount pricing without having to have the aggregate or sustained volumes to get those discounts directly through Consolidator. We have enough aggregate volume through our shippers today that we're able to negotiate the type of pricing to bring that to you direct, even if only one day a year you have the type of volume where it makes sense to do this. So we're pretty excited about this product, but it's definitely one you want to research a little bit, maybe talk to a sales rep or someone at V Technologies to understand better how to use the product. But once you do, I'm sure you'll find a couple options where you can use it. So here's a couple examples as mentioned earlier. The savings will vary, but depending on the weight of your package, the total uh, density of the package you're sending, you can see some pretty good savings if you can consolidate it in one box. We'll provide a tool that you can use if you want to do the math on your own, but this is a great way for you to bundle and save and get the packages to us. So I mentioned earlier some of our service centers. So we have three service centers around the country, one in LA, one in Chicago, and one in New York. Those are the green areas. So if you're with one of those green zones and you're shipping with us, it'll take about one day to get to our hub, two days in the yellow and up to three days in the red. Now, depending on where you are in the country for Smart Saver, um, you might be able to drive it directly to our hub or you can even ship it to our hub. But this gives you an idea of where they're located around the country. So wherever you are, you have a good chance of getting pretty fast service to one of our hubs before it leaves the country. And it's no coincidence that we work directly with USPS and their international service centers where they accept our packages are right near our hubs as well. So ready to get started. So um, in terms of Shipgear uh, version 5.2.0 and Edition Professional, um, you can automate your USPS shipping and integration to your orders. You can save with discounted postage, gain access to Global Post, a better way to ship international, use dashboards, branded email, and more. We're excited about this opportunity to bring the product into V Technologies. I think it's going to be a great way to use the Postal Service in different ways than maybe you've used in the past, especially on the service end. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about the new product, and now I'll turn it back over to see if we have any questions. Thank you, Shay. And uh, there are no questions at this time. Um, as you get to little, get a little time to think of your questions, I have a few questions for you. We're going to launch a poll. Do you already ship internationally? Yes, no, or you plan to in the future? Would you uh, kindly please select one of these? 100% yes. Excellent. So that was 100% yes. Thank you for that. Hey, Shay, um, uh, we have another question that came out um, regarding, I'm guessing, Global Post from Sam. Um, does it cost anything? To, does it cost anything to access the service other than the postage? Yes, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, no, no. So um, there's no uh, special accounts needed, no additional fees. So when we talk about the 20% discount, that is the postage and there's no other fees involved to use the service, which is, and I, I should add in, you know, we didn't talk about a little bit because not everyone may be aware of some of the advantages of using USPS. So um, if we're using USPS and you're not dealing with the residential fees, you're not dealing with dim waiting, 
you're not dealing with the fees on the buyer end. So all those fees that you may typically see, say with the FedEx and UPS, we will take advantage of as well because it will be considered a USPS shipment and it won't have those typical fees you may see with other commercial carriers. Thanks, Jay. And then also from a ship gear perspective, um, there is a cost to actually interface to Indicia Professional. Um, it's just basically a considered a separate module similar to your UPS or FedEx integration. So if you're interested in that, um, feel free to reach out to us and we can provide more information on that. Um, another question, Shay, um, is it just an option from within um, Indicia? as a drop down i mean is there a contract is it a contract service do you have to do something to enable it inside of indicia professional the only thing on our ems platform so if you're on our ems platform which i believe you, know, you pretty much have set up on your guys side then no it should be a product that's available for you to use just like any other services you may have to go in your preferences and select it and then it gets added to the drop down of services but there's no other contracts you need to sign. Um, we've updated our terms and you know conditions and all that good stuff. But we require is you have to be. There's nothing else you really need to do contractually to use a product. Thanks, Shay. Yeah, Sam, on my Indicia Professional, I just had to go in and enable it so I could actually see it in the drop down, like Shay had mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also in Shipgear 5.2, um, which Shay mentioned on that from that slide, um, that's the release where we included um, all the global post services, the, the two global post services, and so you'd be able to map those through on your ship via maps within Shipgear. Um, so if you have um, a global post service inside of your order, we can map it through and you can automatically um, see that come in. And then, of course, uh, you know, on top of that, there are, it is the country. So there are those certain that country lists that Shay showed earlier. So it's a combination of, you know, the ship via, and then obviously if it's supported in one of the countries. Okay, Kathy, did you have another poll up? Yes, and everyone's voted. So the results are: Are you interested in learning more about Global Post? Fifty percent yes and 50% maybe later. Two more polls and then also more time for you to think of questions. We um, did have a few people register that are not already using Shipgear. Obviously if you use Shipgear, we see you, we know about you. Um, you can vote on this. Are you interested in learning more about Shipgear? Um, which also includes, um, you can add on the option to get the Indicia connection. 50% voted. I'm just going to give you another second. Okay. 50% yes and 50% no. Thank you so much. And um, do you already ship with the U.S. Postal Service? We had one answer with Sam, and if all of you could vote, that would be great, and you did 100% um, say, yes, they do. So if you're already using Shipgear, maybe you're just not connected to the Indicia module, maybe you, maybe you are, but we'd uh, certainly be interested in following up with you and learning more about your situation. Thank you for 100% participation. This is great. And I'm going to close these out and we'll uh, stay on the line and look for more questions that may come through. And if not, um, thank you so much for joining us today. We will be following up with you with this recording. And if there's any closing remarks from the presenters, I'll um, let you all I'll get back to the rest of your day. Unless you have questions, we'll hang out.
This is Caroline. I just want to say thanks to those who attended, and Shay, thanks so much for the awesome presentation. Appreciate it. No, thank you. Okay, we'll talk to everybody later then. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.